that the intelligence work is outsourced to private companies. So it's no longer based on like an ethical or moral foundation that something like the FBI or CIA are based on, which is like, you know, they're based on the laws of our land. So now it's all private companies and people like this person sitting next to me, she just cares more about the profit from, you know, quarter three to quarter four being higher. So that changes everything. So Britain, I thought it was important to, to bring the idea of private intelligence into the story. Well, uh, Patricia, if you could talk a little bit about your character, because um, she's obviously a very controlled character, and I'm wondering, you know, what kind of adjustments did you need to make on set when you guys were kind of going through the scenes from when you first read the script? Oh, I just showed up and I was, I didn't need to do anything. <laughs> well, she I am, to stop I am Sharon, I run everything. Um, no, I, the reason I wanted to be a part of this film is because I did, I didn't, uh, I'm often playing so many emotional characters, dying characters, uh, <laughs> uh, yes, you know, <laughs> um, and um, <laughs> uh, this was a finely etched character, it was cut on glass, and I thought, I need to be there, and um, I loved uh, the moral ambiguity of uh, of this character, of, of the piece, uh, I, I, of, of many characters, but in particular Sharon, and I, I do, I, I like playing powerful women. Uh, I might not agree with her ways and means, um, and I might not have her sentiments, but I do uh, relate to someone who has fought to rise. From the ashes, and I know what that is. Uh, so, um, <laughs> Patty, can you talk a little bit about? But I, but I, what I, what it, I know what you want is that. But I was passionate about this character, and that I have watched. I've seen, a, you know, I'm a news junkie, and I love the news, and I've seen many, many, many CEOs, and I was deeply touched by the whole BP scandal because I was born and raised in New Orleans. And I watched the, that CEO of BP day in and day out. And I was obsessed, of course. And I actually went myself down to Louisiana, out into a, a Piro, into a boat with my mother, who's the president of city council in New Orleans. And I saw it firsthand, the death and destruction of our beautiful land, a, a land that is just was black, literally and figuratively. And, and, you know, when I saw a man who stood out in front of our country, all of us, you, every single person in this room who said, oh, it's fine, it's going to be okay. And what makes that person that person? And I had this epiphany that they just, people think they are trans, they are, that they shift, that they're shapeshifters. I think those people remain those people forever. And they are those people day in, day out. Every day they wake up, they're that person. They go to bed, that person. They make love with that person. They make a cup of coffee, and they're that person. And that's a, it's a powerful person to play. It's, it's, it, it intrigued me as, a, as, as an actress to just lose every ounce of blood I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> oh,